Alrighty, thank you again for joining me uh, again for a proverb today. Today is uh, the 10th day of the month, and we are on Proverbs chapter 10. The subtitle, the subheading for Proverbs chapter 10 is uh, Wise Sayings of Solomon. And today I am in Today I'm in the World English Bible. World English Bible. So, wise sayings of uh, Solomon, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, a wise, a wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is a sorrow to his mother too. Treasures gained by wickedness do not profit, but righteousness delivers from death. Three, the Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. Amen. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. Four, a slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. I, I know a lot of people uh, love that verse and they use that verse and they're, they want to become rich, but I don't think it necessarily means uh, um wealthy is as far as financial i think it means rich spiritually i think it rich means rich uh, uh spirit emotionally uh rich with your family and your friends um because a, a man who has three good friends and a great family is a rich man <clears throat> five a son who gathers in summer is prudent but a son who sleeps in harvest brings shame six blessings are on the head of the righteous, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. They, they're, the mouths of the wicked are always concealing their violence. Seven, the memory of the righteous is, righteous is a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. Eight, the wise of heart will heed commandments, but, but a prating fool will come to ruin. You be a fool, you're going to come to ruin. That's what the Bible says. I don't make it up. Nine, he who walks in integrity walks securely, but he who perverts his ways will be found out. Ten, he who winks his eye causes trouble, but he who boldly reproves makes peace. Amen to that. 11. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. 12. Hatred stirs up strife, but love conquers, or love covers all offenses. I'm uh, probably a little bit guilty of that one. I haven't uh, shown as much uh, love as I should in the past to cover all offenses, but... Um, you know, this is good to see it in the Bible and it's a good reminder for me personally. So I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this uh, Proverbs today because it, it really gets me back into the word and really gets me into uh, being able to see what's going on. 13. On the lips of, of him who uh, on the lips of him who has understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him who lacks sense. That means uh, you're you're going to get beat if you don't have the sense. And that could be jail time, too. So be wise about your decisions out there. 14. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the babbling of a fool, bring, a fool brings ruin near. 15. A rich man's wealth is his strong city. The poverty of the poor is their ruin. 16. The wage of the righteous leads to life. The gain of the wicked to sin. 17. He who heeds instruction is on the path to life, but he who reject, rejects reproof goes astray. 18. He who conceals hatred has lying lips, and he who utters slander is a fool. And you all know that in um, John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, I believe it's John, uh, Jesus said, uh, don't use the word fool, don't call it, say uh, raka which is fool, but um, the Bible's saying that you're a fool um, if you utter slanders against people. 19. When words are many, transgression is not lacking, but he who restrains his lips is prudent. 
And basically what that says, don't be a blabbermouth. Uh, you know, use uh, restraint in what you're saying and when you talk. Um, 20. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver. The mind of the wicked is of little worth. 21. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of sense. 22. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. 23. It's like sport to a fool to do wrong, but wise conduct uh, wise conduct is pleasure to a man of understanding. 24. What the wicked dread, dreads will come upon him, but the desire of the righteous will be granted. Amen to that. 25. When the tempest passes, the wicked is no more, but the righteous is established forever. 26. Like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to those who send him. So is the lazy man. It's like vinegar on your teeth if you're a lazy man to your boss. So uh, work hard, uh, says in uh, Colossians, uh, I believe I might be mistaken, but it says, uh, do your work as if you're working unto the Lord. So work hard and work unto the Lord. 27, the fear of the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be short. 28, the hope of the righteous... Ends in gladness, but the expectation of the wicked comes to naught. <laughs> not. There's an old word for you. Comes to naught. 29. The Lord is a stronghold to, the, to him whose way is upright, but destruction to evildoers. And I know you think that there's a lot of evildoers out there in the world that are getting away with stuff right now, but they will come to destruction. It says right here in the Bible, and that's one of God's promises. 30. The righteous will never be removed. But the wicked will not dwell in the land. 31. The mouth of the righteous brings forth some wisdom. But the perverse tongue will be cut off. And finally, verse 32. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable. But the mouth of the wicked, what is perverse. Thank you. That's the Proverbs of the Day. Um, I'm the uh, trucker preacher Shiloh. And join me again for Proverbs chapter 11.